the stations of KUAM, wishing you and yours a very happy holiday. Hi, today, and welcome to Weekend Edition. I'm Crystal Paco. So glad you could join us. There are eyes in the sky, and come February of next year, 35 Guam Department of Education schools will be outfitted with security equipment that aims to deter vandals and keep campuses safe. Isa Baza has more. Thousands of dollars down the drain. Instructional time interrupted. Those are some of the consequences of recurring break-ins, vandalism, and theft at Guam schools. I think we're still having some experiences with uh, different break-ins kind of thing, vandalism at the schools. Um, uh, but I, I do, it does look as if uh, there is somewhat of a reduction in, in what we've seen in previous years. Department of Education Deputy Superintendent Chris Anderson said he's hopeful that the outfitting of security equipment at some of DOE's most vulnerable campuses will deter crime in the future, as well as help catch criminals when they strike. The bigger issue is just the deterrent. I mean, the community knowing that our schools are secured. Um, that it will function as a good deterrent and hopefully people will not want to come to the schools uh, for fear of being caught. However, the security systems aren't foolproof. Still dependent upon the community to help, um, you know, police or just to be aware of uh, things that they see or hear. So far, roughly 88% of selected Guam schools have been outfitted with the equipment by vendor G4S Security. Of that 88%, there are two schools that are actually just, they're in progress right now, but should be finished very soon. And then that leaves us with uh, roughly four schools to, to, to finish uh, the entire 35 schools. With the completion date scheduled for February 3rd of next year, Anderson said the implementation will likely finish ahead of schedule. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. It's considered one of the challenges to getting a job, and by next year, the Guam Department of Labor hopes to kick off a pilot program with Guam as Transit, to help transport people where they need to go to start their career. Ken Kitsunitsa has more. Transportation has typically been a challenge for, for people in general. So we'd like to see how we can um, explore. We're trying to think outside the box and be very creative and really be customer focused. And by next year, Guam Department of Labor Director Sam Mabini hopes to ease the trouble. This week, the Guam Regional Transit Authority passed a memorandum of agreement to provide DOL with one of its new MV1 five-passenger van. From them, it would be one of their uh, new vans. And from us, it would be uh, utilizing our resources for uh, as far as people um, from our American Job Center in helping individuals who are trying to find jobs and getting to uh, training or whatnot. Just this year, the public transit started a new route that stops by the American Job Center in Anigua. Ever since, Mabini says, it's been more than busy. Which we had uh, reported just in this last year, an updated number of over 5,000, uh, about 5,300 people who have actually visited American Job Center. Of course, those are some of repeats, but imagine 5,300 people coming, either they're coming through public transportation or private transportation. Um, some have the challenge of being able to get back on the bus to go to one of our other uh, partner agencies that where they may need additional uh, documents. Mabini says some of the places they plan to utilize the van will be at the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation at the DNA Building, the Adult Educational Program at GCC, and other places like Revin Tax and Public Health. So. The challenge sometimes for them is getting to these various places. What we'd like to do is uh, accommodate them, help ease the process by providing um, transportation. And because this is a pilot program, she says this will be at no cost to the clients. This is actually a service that we at the American Job Center will be providing for our participants. Now, of course, we're going to have to um, create a schedule of the routing um, among the different partners so that it'll be regular so people know that you know they can get on the bus or maybe it could be on demand. And while it's just one van for now, Mabini hopes this partnership will lead to more in the future. I encourage our partners, whether it's a nonprofit or even one of our public agencies, if they may have a van that can help uh, augment and support this kind of initiative, you know, I we welcome it.
The MOA still needs to be signed by the governor and the attorney general for final approval. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. In this week's message to the people of Guam, Governor DeCalvo is wishing all a wonderful Christmas and praying all families are blessed with an abundance of love that comes with it. Peace and joy. Life changes. That's a certainty. Kids grow up and we welcome new people into our lives and sadly say goodbye to others. But love is a constant. In times of joy and celebration and in times of struggle and hardship, love is there. And we see it on Guam. When people reach into their pockets to help a family who's lost a home, or come to support those fighting cancer, or stop to help a kid who's lost in the crowd. We see it when we come together after a storm to help our neighbors down the street or across the Pacific. You can watch Cavill's address in its entirety on KUAM's Facebook page. Congresswoman Madeline Berdalio is supporting efforts to allow delegates to vote in the 115th Congress. Berdalio says she supports Democratic Whip Steny Hoyt Honyer's letter to House Rules Committee Chairman Pete Sessions asking that the delegates from the District of Columbia, U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam, American Samoa, and the Northern Mariana Islands, as well as the resident commissioner from Puerto Rico, be allowed to cast votes in the committee of the whole house. Rodalio testified before the Rules Committee in September to request for the change and says, quote, I believe that doing so would allow the territory's, territory's voice to be heard more fully during debate on the House floor. It would give us parity with other members and strengthen the long-cherished values of the House. Again, your Heights Mayor Paul McDonald will continue on as president of the Mayor's Council of Guam. While he has been mayor for 24 years, this new term will mark his fourth consecutive term and ninth overall of being elected as the MCOG president. Along with McDonald, Dedito Mayor Melissa Savars will serve as vice president, and Iran Mayor Doris Lujan as secretary, PD Mayor-elect Jesse Alec as treasurer, and Santa Rita Mayor Dale Alvarez as sergeant-at-arms. The selections will be ratified at the first of first meeting of the council on January 3rd. It's a story that will leave you teary-eyed. One newborn baby receives a Christmas miracle, all because his mother believed in the power of prayer. Here's more. Sister Mary Angela Perez couldn't help but notice the young woman pushing a stroller at the recent Santa Maria and Cumlin procession. How old is the baby? And she said, two weeks, three days. So I was um, thinking right away, wow, this is a long procession. <laughs> and it was a very hot day. But nothing could stop Sharon Tan from going to pray that day. I came down here to pray because um, he has a heart condition. Her baby boy, Elias Jude, was expected to be born on Christmas Day, but arrived into the world over a month early. His condition, VSD, short for ventricular septal defect, which is a hole in the wall separating the two lower chambers of the heart. Already doctors have determined he'll need open heart surgery. That's like a wheezing, a whooshing kind of noise. If you, and I heard it the other night, when I lay my, my ears close to his chest, I can hear a little whooshing noise and I see what the doctors are talking about. The woman talked and Sister Angela casted Elias to play Baby Jesus for the Academy of Our Lady of Guam's Christmas program the next day. Entitled Heaven's Child, the performance narrated the story of Baby Jesus. The program didn't charge admission, but Sister Angela shared baby Elias' story to audience members in hopes the family could receive blessings. There was great outpouring and generosity um, in the spirit of Christmas um, for, for uh, Elias Jude. A total of $1,400 was collected that night and will go towards medical expenses, which Tan says aren't covered by her insurance. Words can express on how we feel but we appreciate all the love and the support coming from everybody. And it was really a blessing and a sign to go down there. But if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have come this far. If you would like to make a donation to baby Elias and family, you can call AOLG at 477-8203. It may be the most wonderful time of the year for most, but for some, the holidays bring feelings of sadness or loneliness. Although the holiday hotline won't be operational this year, Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center recreational therapist Peter Cruz says 
callers can phone their crisis hotline. It's still 24-7, and there will be someone at the other end of the line if you're experiencing holiday blues. The number to call is 647-8833. Stay tuned next on Weekend Edition. We'll rehash some of the big stories of the past week and still to come, the Guam Crime Stoppers Report. There are more ways to experience KUAM News than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM News app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming with KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Do you want to get discounts at local restaurants like Lone Star, CPK, Capricciosa, Delmonico Kitchen and Bar, Manhattan Steakhouse, Tony Roma's, and lots more? What about 25% off on all natural and organic items at Pela Supermarkets Daily? It's all part of Guam's largest rewards club, the Calvo's Lifestyle Club. Join today for free as an added benefit to being a Calvo's Insurance customer. Just show your Lifestyle Club card at over 50 of our rewards partners to start saving more. It's just one of the ways Calvo's Insurance helps you live a better lifestyle. Two things come to play when talking about mobile data, price and speed. Let's look at what happens when we compare the competition against it &E's $80 plan. Docomo's $79 plan comes with six gigs. it &E's $80 plan comes with 20. GTA's $80 plan comes with 10 gigs. Better, but you get twice as much at it &E. it &E has the best network and the data to back it up. Get unlimited talk and text and 20 gigabytes for $80 at it &E. Oh, and if you bring your own device, get 40 gigs. If you get nervous about having dental treatment, you're not alone. An estimated 35 million adults experience anxiety or nervousness at the simple thought of visiting the dentist. As your dentist, I strive to make your visit as painless or pain-free as possible. And I frequently tell my patients that in the 21st century, if we can give you medicines to put your tooth to sleep or medicines to take an infection or toothache away, we can surely give you something to help relax you and take all fear away. No one ought to sit in a dental chair thinking of bad childhood memories or fearing injections. If you're a dental coward, but you really do want your teeth fixed, don't wait until the pain is killing you. Come in, tell us your fears, and set up an appointment. We have convinced many that dental treatment doesn't need to be scary anymore. For your helpful dental minute, I'm Dr. Kenny Bourgeois of Paradise Smiles. You shall never know all the good a simple smile can do. Tourism, it's our number one industry. As Guam's largest employer, tourism supports 20,000 jobs. In fact, one out of every three jobs is tourism related. Annually, tourism generates over 150 million in tax revenue. Without it, every household would pay an additional 3,100 per year. From real estate to retail, tourism has a positive impact on every industry. Make Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. Support tourism. RT Trios at Ruby Tuesday. We've taken our most popular items and grouped them into six terrific trios, like the Rage and Spices Trio, with Black Fire Steak, Caribbean Chicken, and a half rack of Sriracha Honey Ribs. Three classic items all on one plate, now at Ruby Tuesday. Hoffaday, and welcome back to Weekend Edition. This is Rehash, where we recap the big stories of the past week, and this is the penultimate week of 2016. So, Issa, you were up to something this weekend? This week? Yeah, so, you know, it's actually a story I covered this past week, but it's something I've also been covering all year long. So, it kind of a good way to tie up the year. It's about school repairs at DOE, which have been kind of overdue and lingering for several years. And so, um, you know, the big thing that everyone thinks about is Simon Tenshaw's high school. Last year, the school was almost shut down due to health and safety violations, but people kind of forget about the other schools. Uh, for example, Osgoode Johnson Middle School, they have these really bad awnings uh, where school children just get drenched when they're walking by. They also have some power issues, so some parts of the school just shut down throughout the year because um, they have some kind of overcapacity with their electrical system. I don't, I don't really know what the issue is there, but um, so basically it's just a funding issue, and they've kind of been waiting for funding from the legislature. 
but um, these contracts to repair the schools haven't been going through. So Senator Ada will be discussing a way to kind of push that forward, hopefully find a way to get it done faster coming up next week. How about you, Ken? Uh, well, I covered uh, medicinal marijuana. It's been two years since voter passed the uh, referendum to allow for medicinal marijuana in Guam. And the rules and regs uh, finally lapsed, in, or the a bill strengthening the rules and regs finally lapsed into law. And But once it lapsed into law, public health was raising concerns, saying there's some uh, logistical concerns and that they were kind of confused about why, what actually passed. And the governor also noted some concerns as well and instead is proposing or is actually pushing for uh, recreational marijuana. And he was saying that, you know, based on how the other states are doing it, recreational seems like a much simpler process. And he even noted with the Medicinal Marijuana Act that this is another unfunded mandate that would cost about eight to $10 million. And if, we, if people really want to see this thing move forward faster, that we should go that route. He's hoping to work with the legislature in the upcoming term to um, kind of move some kind of initiative forward. And Esther, you did a story in the Congress? Yeah, I had a really fascinating, it was a real uplifting tour of the old Guam Congress building, um, the, the new Guam legislature, which has been shut down for about uh, 27 years because it was condemned back in, in 1989. That was um, the year I was born. Yeah, it was <laughs> incredible. And uh, it, it's just a historic building. So much has happened there, in particular, particularly in 1949 when um, the Guam um, senators at the time uh, staged a walkout which kind of led to greater self-government for Guam and led to uh, President Harry Truman signing the Organic Act, which uh, gave uh, Guamanians um, U.S. citizenship. So it was a very um, historic uh, building, and it's great to see it back in action. And, uh, yeah, I think um, you attended the yeah, actual um, rededication ceremony, and it was good to see all the old speakers there. And My uh, grandma actually went in. My grandpa was a senator at that time, and so she showed me his old office building where he used to work. So yeah, it was a lot cool. of history in that building. And it's great to see the, revi the Hagatni revitalization in full force. Adjacent to that, we have the Guam Museum and so much going on in that area. And for myself, speaking of Aganya, the Archdiocese of Aganya is being sued yet again, the 14th alleged victim of child molestation. This time, it's Ramona Faisen de Plata, and he wasn't necessarily a direct victim. We have interviewed him back in September. He came forward after a, a handful of the other gentlemen came forward alleging Apron that molested them. In this case, he is alleging that his his abuser was uh, Father Antonio Cruz of Chalampago, although he's now deceased, and that the church should have taken responsibility. Again, 14 victims, it's a lot, and I think we can expect more to come in 2017. Uh, the Archdiocese of Aganya is, meanwhile, just in receipt of all the FOIA documents for Bill 326, which did pass into law. If you remember, that was a really big deal. Because Bill 326 uh, lifts the civil statute of limitations for child sex abuse, which made all these lawsuits possible. Again, if you'd like to give us a news tip here at the KUM newsroom, just email us at reporters at KUM.com. It'll get in all our inboxes. So for sure, we take a look at it. <laughs> Celebrating Hyundai holidays at Cars Plus and Mighty. Get a head start on Santa and save thousands this Christmas with the award-winning 2017 Hyundai lineup. Like the Hyundai Accent starting at $13,995. Or the Hyundai Elantra starting at $17,995. How about the beautifully redesigned Hyundai Tucson starting at just $22,995. Best of all, every new and perfectly used vehicle comes with a Kenya Shopping Center gift certificate. And up to 3000 in bonus cash. Visit Cars Plus today for big savings and easy financing during our Hyundai holiday sales event. Cars Plus, driven by you. For 20 years, Matson has been an important part of our everyday lives. Bringing in the cars we drive, the food we eat, and the materials that helped build our homes. From caring for our land through the Adaki Itano program, to generously supporting our local charity, Matson has contributed to the preservation and growth of our island. On behalf of those you've served throughout your 20 years on Guam, you just must eat Matson. The Shop Guam E Festival is back and better than ever. GVB has teamed up with over 100 Shop Guam vendors to give you access to hundreds of deals and discounts. Download the free Shop Guam mobile app and get real-time alerts on offers nearest you to dine, shop, play, and save. Just in time for the holiday season. Download the app now and start taking advantage of great deals. The Shop Guam E Festival is a GVB signature event, making Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. Whoa, 
It's the best gift you could give this Christmas. It's the best thing you'll receive all year. We're looking out your window for rainbow in the sky. It don't come down the chimney. It's simply you and I. Spending time you see with our family. So they say the best things in a life are free. And you don't have to be a millionaire to show your friends and family how much you care. And that's the best gift you can give. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mike. Hey. It's quite the snowman you got there. Yeah, it was quite the sale. I saved big. You? Saved huge. And mine lights up, too. This holiday season, see your GMC dealer and get something you really want. Celebrate the holidays with a new GMC. Get nearly $3,600 cash back on select 2016 GMC Canyon SLE Crew Cab vehicles in stock. That's 10%. Visit Autospot GMC today. All right, Christmas is coming up, everybody. So that means the roads are going to be very, very busy, and Guam's retail establishments are going to be pretty crowded. So Officer Paul Tapao is here, our very good friend, keeping you and I safe. Now, Officer Tapao, I know you guys and girls at GPD, you guys always talk about what places, what, you know, what roadways, what stores are going to be busy and everything like that. But realistically, how do you guys prepare and how can we help you guys and girls do your job better? Uh, man, it's really hard to prepare for that because when everybody has intentions to go shopping all at one time because of big sales, we know that we're going to see an influx of uh, heavy, heavy traffic within our roadway. So, you know, I mean, the best way to prepare that is to plan ahead. Plan uh, your time accordingly to where you're going to go to the stores, when you're going to go, and uh, of course, you know, um, what routes to take. We know that the main thoroughfares are going to be busy because this is the last leg of Christmas shopping, and uh, people are going to be out there, you know, looking for the bargains, the last bargains, uh, the best discounts that they can get. So be expecting delays, you know, anticipate delays. Um, the best way to prepare you, like I said, is pr uh, plan ahead. Plan accordingly and plan your routes in accordance. And I'd say pro probably even more so this year because Christmas falls on a Sunday. Yeah. So that's Saturday, Christmas Eve, everybody's going to be out. Yeah, I mean, just like I said, the last leg going into the week at Christmas weekend, um, you know, people are going to be taking off that extra day um, before the eve of Christmas, and they're going to be out, out and about shopping again, looking for greater deals. So you know, I mean, to alleviate all the pressures of the of shopping and of course the roads, you know, just be patient. Be mindful and be courteous out there because it does get frustrating. All right, very well. well what do we got this week for the crime of the week? Uh, this week is a robbery that happened up at the Starts Golf Course in Dededo. All right, here's what you can do to help solve this crime up north. On Monday, December 12th, at 3 in the morning, officers from the Dededo Precinct Command responded to Starts Guam Golf Resort and Hotel on NCS Road in Dededo in reference to an armed robbery that had just occurred. According to the police report, the lone front desk clerk was working behind the resort's reception desk when two masked individuals rushed into the hotel lobby armed with a rifle. The two masked men then proceeded behind the counter and forced the clerk onto the ground and tied the clerk's arm as the masked individuals began rummaging through the resort's front desk. Fearful for his safety, the clerk did not look up as the male suspects fled the area through the front door. The hotel clerk only described the suspects to be male locals wearing black masks. Now, the Guam Police Department and the Guam Crime Stoppers need your help in reference to this robbery. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357. You can also send a text to 486-HELP. That's 486-4357. You can also submit information of a crime through our webpage at guam.crimestoppersweb.com or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-6 or 7. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to a thousand dollars if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime all right officer Tapao, as always we appreciate the 411 so um once more if people want to plan you know malls are open till 11 mm -hmm. um they open early they close late and everything like that still what should we do to you know 
make sure that the, the, the traffic on the roadway is minimal and, you know, stress is, doesn't get so high. Well, you know, just expect delays. This is the first and foremost. Anticipate the delays and plan in accordance to what you're going to do. Um, if it's cumbersome just to get to Kmart, maybe you want to take your time at GPO and just let traffic wind down or even the parking lot, you know, for that matter, at Kmart. So just plan according and, you know, just be courteous out there and All respect right. everybody. Okay, now I know we went to UOG together, but you sound like you uh, took a few marketing classes there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it, promotion. Is, it is, you know, I mean, I, I didn't mean to put the retailers out there and everything, but it is, you know, um, you put your planning out there because I, for one, we just had a newborn shot and we're like, okay, let's just wait here. Let's wait it out and, you know, we'll move on. So we're now um, catering towards our, our, our newborn baby and the needs and the timing and everything. So it's no more up and at him and go. So, you know, for one, myself, I, I'm a family man and I'm planning according to what the family mm -hmm. needs are. All right. Well, congratulations once again and happy holidays to your yeah, family. Thank you again and Merry Christmas. All right. Merry Christmas to you too. Stay tuned, everybody. We are back right after this. What's the best gift you could give this Christmas? It's the best thing you receive all year. No looking out your window for rainbow in the sky. It don't turn down the chimney. It's simply you and I. Spending time you see with our family. So they say the best things in life are free. And you don't have to be a millionaire to show your friends and family how much you care. And that's the best gift you can give. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a dream. I walked into a dealership, picked out a new car, gave them no money, and they're letting me drive it for free the next three months. At Nissan Guam, your dream has become a reality during the premier year-end event. For the holidays, you can drive away a new Nissan with no money down and not make a payment for the next three months. It's on the house. No money down. We make your first three payments. Just sign and drive away. For details, stop by Nissan Upper Tumont or log on NissanGuam.com. Three, two, one, Happy New Year! Matson, United Airlines and the Guam Visitors Bureau present the New Year's Eve Tumon Bay Fireworks Show. We're kicking off Visit Guam 2017, the year of love, with a spectacular midnight display that the whole family will enjoy. Join us at EPAL for the Tumon Night Market with a special performance by Chris Fuchigami. The New Year's Eve Tumon Bay Fireworks is brought to you by Matson, United Airlines, T Galleria, PIC, and GBB. We're celebrating Hyundai holidays in Cars Plus and Mighty. Get a head start on Santa and save thousands this Christmas with the award-winning 2017 Hyundai Lina. Like the Hyundai Accent starting at $13,995. Or the Hyundai Elantra starting at $17,995. How about the beautifully redesigned Hyundai Tucson starting at just $22,995. Best of all, every new and perfectly used vehicle comes with a Kenya Shopping Center gift certificate. And up to 3000 in bonus cash. Visit Cars Plus today for big savings and easy financing during our Hyundai Holiday Sales Event. Cars Plus, driven by you. Guam's auto appearance specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's auto appearance specialist. Over 20 years of experience. Can you feel something without touching it? See something with your eyes closed. When everything is designed around you, the driver, you can. The new Mazda 3. And before we close out the news tonight, here's our latest round of birthday shout-outs from the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. Happy birthday, Tarsila Villagomez Guerrero. Happy birthday, Vicky Kanata. Celebrating this weekend, Baya Ramirez. And Marina Turner. Happy birthday. 
And to you, Bernie Trinidad. Blowing out her candles on Noel Nedidog. Happy birthday to you, Doris Garrido Ogo and Mary Tidegui. Noah Maldonado. Maldonado. Happy birthday to you. Kaylee Joy Agnino. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jada Mendiola. Love the entire family. Celebrating this weekend, Chris Franquez. And to you, Rudy Chris Kijichu. And celebrating happy birthday, Christy Williams, to Regine Erickson, and to Christina Laguna. That's probably a record breaking birthdays for our Cold Stone Creamy Birthday Club, but you can register online on KUAM.com. Make sure to include with your photo your name and birth date. And that's all the time we have from all of us here at Guam's News Network. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy new year.